Hey what's up everyone welcome to another video few days back or couple days back there was a bill introduced called American Tech Worker Act 2021 talking about mainly four things uh, that's a uh, OPD cancellation H1B making one year removing the H1B program etc uh, there's like four main things they talk about it and a lot of you i know were worried they you messaged me on Instagram on YouTube and Twitter and all of that and i know you wanted to know how this is going to impact you will this bill even become a thing? what are the chances of this bill even passing and all of that so in today's immigration session we asked rajiv ji who's our immigration lawyer to talk about that and that's what you are going to hear for the next 10 minutes on what he thinks about the bill how the bill is designed what are the four main things or what does he think if it is going to pass or not pass um, if you don't want to watch all of this i'm going to tell you it's not going to pass <laughs> but i'll let you ex- let him explain what he thinks and how this all works and how this impacts or does an impact i hope this does give you some peace and encouragement and if you have any further question on this topic please let me know in the comment section I'll be happy to answer them. Looking at this bill, one is left with a clear conviction that this is just a cartoonish bill to harvest votes looking for a cause that has not been shown to exist in the empirical world. Mm. So, mm. in other words, it's a baseless piece of nonsense. Okay? Mm. Is it ever going to pass um, not till the midterm elections? But let me begin with what you need to know first, which is it's okay. not going to go anywhere. Okay? Okay. Uh, first of all it's just signed by a bunch of republicans no democrats on board and today at this time no bill can pass without bipartisan support to some extent at least so what does the bill say uh, it it is all of two pages with four articles only and the first article says you have to pay h1b at the wage which is higher of the following two numbers Hundred and ten thousand, or what you paid an American worker doing identical or similar work in the past two years. So there is everybody has to be paid hundred and ten thousand, whatever is more, or what you paid somebody else doing similar work, an American worker in the last two years. Then they want to eliminate optional practical training. Never going to happen. They. want to limit the ability of the end clients to contract with third party companies by dropping down the h1b to one year and lastly they want to give h1b applications to the highest bidder how that bidding will work what will be we be bidding against there are so many different areas there are so many different jobs there are so many ways to classify a job you can't compare the job of a neurosurgeon to the job of a general practitioner you can't uh, compare the job of a microsoft access developer to a hadoop developer these are just different grades and mm-hmm. i think it's a ridiculous bell it has been in my view written by somebody who understands a uh, technology even less than they understand law so <laughs> uh, i didn't think that was even possible and not only that and they understand immigration law even less than they understand law i thought they mm-hmm. had lawyers working i guess not on the right hand side on the left we have plenty of smart lawyers on the right i think they've all quit gone home in disgust mm. so these are the four provisions right now this is not going to go it's not even going to make it to the house a floor it's one of those many bills that are proposed every year and they go away after a while but one thing that's interesting is that one of the anti immigration entities organizations that has re- helped write this bill again i'm surprised at the sheer um shadiness of the draft because i think they had even the people who are against us had good lawyers working for them but it's not reflected in this bill mm. there is very little consideration and they have actually copied and pasted some of the some of the findings from a report written by a professor who himself says i'm not sure of all the data but this needs to be investigated <laughs> so if you if you look at what they have done is what they what the republicans did during the election times and after they have raised innuendo to fact just because i think um ud i don't know smokes a hookah i have now established that he smokes a hookah mm. where's the proof have you even looked yeah. at it have you found him could you do a video of him doing hookah 
No, no, that's not necessary. Just because we think he did it, does it. So it's a fact. So that's mm -hmm. kind of what the bill is. Don't worry about it. This is going to go away. The only yeah. alarming thing is that this is the extreme thinking. Now, if you look at the bill, it starts by saying, if you look at the name of the bill, the, the very um, um, title of the bill, American Tech Workforce Act of 2021. So it's supposed to be protecting the technical uh, te technology workers. I point out in the article that I have sent in, I said, first of all, the current rate of US unemployment in professional scientific and technical services is 2.4%. Yeah. Unemployment. Right. Four to 5% is considered to be full employment. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is even, you, you have employment above full employment right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, on top of that, we have 11 million open jobs, a record for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, on top of that, the Fed has actually said that inflation, which is at 6.8%, 40 years high, it is partly because we are not, we don't have enough workers. And they've also said workers come from immigration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it, the whole bill is, is absolutely inappropriate. They talk about going after the high technology, big companies, but there's no exception for small business. Yeah. There's also no exception for business that's not tech business. Right. So therefore, like I said, this is a very poorly thought out bill. Mm. Yeah, and I can repeat the word cartoonish. That's what it is. I would be ashamed to put and put my name to a bill like that. Yeah, and so and that. even if this bill, so if let's say they entertain this bill, there are so okay, many first, more wait, wait, wait. stages. First, the bill has to go through the judiciary committee. Right. When they stop laughing, they are going to say hell now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's yeah. say they can tack the bill to some other bill somehow. They do stuff like that. <clears throat> and they can get it to full to the house. In the house, they are in a minority. And most smart Republicans will look at this bill and say, this will destroy our country. Mm -hmm. This bill will destroy our country. Okay, I'm not saying H-1B program is a perfect program. I'm also not saying that there are not things we can improve about it. But I give this example all the time. Pentagon has not been able to pass an audit in the last 20 years. We are not closing down army. I've said this before. We're not closing down our air force. So obviously we need to correct the problem, not, and okay. Another thing is, look, I am an American. My loyalty is to America. Mm -hmm. If it is found that H-1B is indeed not good for our country, it should be taken out. I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. But at least do the study. Have two parties sit down. A nonpartisan or a bipartisan commission should sit down, look at the facts, invite data, and then make a recommendation to the to the to Congress. Right. How do you how do you plan for where is your where is your lead today in the in the world? Only place you have lead is technology. Mm -hmm. You kill technology, you kill kill our lead in anything. We don't manufacture. Our right. manufacturing jobs have gone overseas to China. Yep. They're not coming back real soon. We are not ahead in anything other than technology. I can't think of a single thing. And I'm not an economist by all by any means. So if somebody knows something better, please correct me. But I don't know anything else that the government that USA leads in. And here you are going after the only thing that we lead in because you want to get back at high tech. And I'll tell you something interesting. The guy who wrote this bill and sponsored this bill, the illiterate who wrote this bill, he if you click on his website where he says, we are doing this based upon the data that we have, it opens up to a page that talks about censorship of people like Trump who don't belong in public media. And so mm -hmm. it's quite obvious they're trying to get back at high tech for censorship. But it's also obvious that they don't really care about the small business either. 27 mm -hmm. million small businesses are responsible for almost 50% of our gross national product. Yes, yeah, true. Okay. So if yeah. you don't even care about small business, you, you pretend to care about um, curbing high tech, you pretend to care about uh, small business, but you have really done nothing to protect small business or other businesses who are not high tech who employ H-1B people. So like I said, this bill is an embarrassment. Yeah, okay.